In this video, I'm planning to explain the finding the trigonometric ratio from given ratio. And uh, here, the ratio it is given, and we are going to find the other ratios, tangent, sine, and cosine. Uh, but here, the difference is, we have solved this kind of questions before. The difference is also the uh, quadrant it is given. And angle is located in which quadrant that's given to us. And we are finding the tangent and cotangent builders with respect to that one. As, uh, as a result, I can say like this. In the first quadrant, sine is positive, cosine is positive, tangent sine is cosine is positive, tangent is positive, tangent uh, positive, cotangent positive, I can say. And uh, the, so the values here, they are going to be positive. Okay, now cotangent alpha. Cotangent alpha is given to us. Cotangent alpha, we know that it's equal to adjacent side of alpha over opposite side of alpha. Then it's going to be equal to, here in the triangle, it is 12 over y. And it is given 4 over 3 at the same time. 4 over 3. So 12 over y is equal to 4 over 3. Then uh, 4y cross the if we multiply. 4y is equal to... 4y is equal to 36, y is going to be equal to uh, 36 over 4, y is going to be equal to 12. So uh, here the y value is equal to 9, pardon, 9 is going to be, I made a mistake, sorry, 9 is going to be. And uh, here, uh, if one side is 12, the other side is 9, the uh, hypotenuse is x squared is equal to 12 squared plus 9 squared it's going to be. So x squared is equal to 144. 144 plus 81 it's going to be. And x squared is going to be equal to 225. And x is equal to root of 225 which is equal to x is equal to 15 we are going to find so x is equal to 15 we found now we are going to find the other trigonometric ratios from the given ratio 4 over 3 it is given to us so tangent it's going to be actually inverse of it so it should be 3 over 4 we know that one but uh, tangent is opposite side over 9 over 12 so it's going to be equal to uh, when we simplify them it's going to be equal to 3 over 4, which is inverse of cotangent also. Okay, this is going to be plus because it is in the first quadrant. This is in the first quadrant, so the result is going to be plus. This is in the first quadrant, so it's going to be plus. Okay, let's continue for the sine alpha. Sine alpha is equal to 9 over 15. It's going to be opposite of alpha over hypotenuse, which is 9 over 15. But we may simplify this one. If you simplify by 3, this is going to be 3. This is going to be 5. And this one is uh, 12 over 15, it's going to be. And when you simplify uh, here, 12 by uh, 15, both divisible by 3, it's going to be equal to 4 over 5. Okay. With the second question here, in the second question, the quadrant is second quadrant. In the second quadrant, in the second quadrant, we are going to, in the second quadrant, uh, we know that sine is positive, cosine is negative, so tangent and cotangent, because tangent and cotangent, uh, here it's going to be sine over cosine and cosine over sine. So they are going to be in this one. And if I draw one small triangle here, which shows the sides, one of the sides is 2 and 3, let me draw one right triangle here, one side is Two, one side is three, it's going to be the hypotenuse actually, it's going to be three. So here it's going to be like uh, the opposite side, I need to choose one reference angle, and this angle is equal to, uh, opposite side is equal to two, sorry, and the hypotenuse is three. So if this value we say x, we are going to find by the help of the Pythagorean theorem, x squared is equal to, actually x squared plus, x squared plus, 2 squared is going to be equal to 3 squared. So x squared plus 4 is equal to 9, x squared is equal to 5, and x is equal to root of uh, 5. 
x is going to be equal to root of 5. So when you are looking for uh, sign is given here, we have to find cosine. Cosine alpha, you know, uh, the angle, it should be the value, it should be negative because it is in the second quadrant. So cosine alpha is equal to, here the length is root 5, so the uh, adjacent of angle uh, over uh, hypotenuse, which is equal to minus root 5 over, which is equal to root 5 over 3. Okay, what about uh, tangent alpha? Tangent alpha is going to be equal to, again the sign is going to be minus, but I'm going to find the tangent alpha from this triangle. 2 over root 5 it's going to be opposite over adjacent. And uh, when the, uh, the mathematicians, they don't like the denominator as a radical expression. That's why they are rationalizing the denominator and it's going to be equal to minus 2 times root 5 over 5, it's going to be. Okay, the last one is cotangent alpha. Cotangent alpha is going to be the adjacent side, first it's going to be minus, the adjacent side is going to be equal to, the adjacent side is going to be equal to root 5 and over 2 is going to be. The denominator is rationalized, that's why we are not going to change that one. Okay, the next one, here, if tangent alpha is equal to 3 and the angle uh, alpha, it's in the uh, third quadrant. In the third quadrant, sine and cosine is negative. Cosine is negative, uh, tangent and cotangent, they are going to be uh, positive. So. The, when we are finding the sine uh, alpha, the result first we know that it's going to be negative or cosine alpha, what I am going to find, cosine alpha it's going to be negative, tangent alpha it's given, cotangent alpha it's going to be positive, cotangent alpha it's going to be positive. I know the signs from the, uh, from the quadrant. Okay, now how to find the if tangent is equal to root 3? root 3, pardon, if tangent is equal to 3. Now, when I draw the right triangle here, like this, the opposite side is going to be 3. What about the adjacent side? Because we don't have any adjacent side here. We don't have any adjacent side here. So, here, this is the uh, opposite side is 3. Adjacent side is going to be equal to 1. Because tangent alpha, when you say it's equal to 3, at the same time, you can write as 3 over 1. So the opposite side is 3, adjacent side is going to be 1. So by using the Pythagorean theorem, if you say, uh, if we say this is equal to x, x squared is equal to 3 squared plus 1 squared. x squared is equal to, x squared is going to be equal to 10. And uh, x squared is equal to, x is equal to, sorry, x is equal to root of 10. And we don't have a specific, I mean, integer root for the uh, root 10. That's why we are going to leave like this. And the hypotenuse is root 10. Okay, what about sine alpha? Sine alpha is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse is going to be 3 over root 10. And 3 over root 10, when you say, as you see here, uh, the denominator is root 10, so we should rationalize the denominator. And then so it's going to be equal to minus 3 root 10 over 10. What about uh, cosine alpha? Cosine alpha, 1 over root 10, it's going to be. And when you rationalize the denominator, by if you multiply by root 10, the numerator and denominator together, then the answer is going to be root 10 over 10. If we talk about the cotangent alpha, cotangent alpha is adjacent over, hypo, uh, adjacent over opposite, then it's going to be equal to 1 over 3.